Hello, this is special correspondent, The Invisible World. Poltergeists, UFOs, phantoms, demons, unexplainable anomalies. These and other phenomena are shrouded in mystery. That they are baffled scientists, and all attempts to study such things stumble upon a wall of prejudice and immediately go into the category of pseudoscience or sci-fi. Many of the phenomena that occur to people around the world in their daily lives are surprising, shocking and still horror, because a lot of emotions have no clear explanation and are certainly not so fantastic for those who actually face them in their lives. The idea to create this program arose right after the release of the program The Invisible World, with participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov on Alatra TV. This program presents facts confirming the existence of life forms invisible to the human eye, describes the consequences of their impact on humans, as well as provides with practical recommendations on how to protect oneself from the aggressive effects of beings from the invisible world. It is precisely this information that inspired us to create this series of programs which are aimed at informing the society about manifestations of the invisible world, paranormal and unexplained incidents. One of the most common unexplained phenomena today are strange sounds. Hundreds of thousands of people around the world are witnessing a strange phenomenon, which is also called trumpet, the moan of the earth, the voice of the heaven. Over the past 10 years, these terrible sounds have been recorded in more than 60 countries around the world. What is the nature of this phenomenon and should people be worried? Eyewitnesses compare this phenomenon with train rumble, the roar of the plane that is taking off the sound of the ocean. But at the same time, the source of the sounds remains unidentified. Seven years ago, I witnessed this sound. 
And what is the most interesting, it struck me that anyone who hears it understands that he or she has never heard anything like this in his or her life, because this sound is so comprehensive and penetrating, it's somewhat dumbed and the sound diverges in all directions. You cannot determine the location where this noise comes from. The sound is something like, I don't know, the movements of sound very heavy. Rail cars? Yes, rail cars. I don't know, something like a screech, but at the same time the sound is slightly resembling. But this is absolutely not the sound that we are accustomed to hear. And of course, hearing the unusualness of this sound makes you talk to other people who have not heard it yet and they have no idea what you are talking about at all. They immediately label it with kind of mysticism, weirdness. Or they simply justify it with the usual facts that you probably heard a sound of construction work, maybe trains were passing nearby, or somebody was adjusting the music, or something else. But what is the most interesting, the sound when you hear it, you feel inside some kind of discomfort, it is so unpleasant to hear and some kind of anxiety appears. When I told my sister about this and she said that she had heard the same and that this sound was unlike anything else, and then I realized that I wasn't alone. It was around 2011 or 2012, I was studying at the university. And we were at a get-together when the sound started to come from somewhere. And we all suddenly turned towards each other. We didn't understand where the sound was coming from, but we didn't attach much significance to it. I mean, we really couldn't understand where the sound was coming from, because there was no understanding at all about the source of it. I mean, it could have been coming from the street, or from inside, or who knows where it was coming from. Because no one has ever heard anything like this. You have to hear it at least once to understand what it is. It's good that it's been captured on video, and a lot of people have actually recorded this sound. These sounds take place all over the world, regardless of location. I don't know of any other facts, but many people directed their cameras towards the sky or somewhere to the ground or the field, because the location of its origin is not clear, I mean it's so pervasive and very loud. Recordings of strange sounds began to appear on the Internet since 2008 and were usually ignored by the media. Today, when a large number of videos have accumulated, this phenomenon has aroused a wide interest of the public. People start asking questions – what is it and how to explain this phenomenon? There are several versions that explain such anomalies as strange sounds. The most common one is technology-related. According to this version, activities of technical devices such as the hum of airplanes, trains, power lines, and so on, may cause those strange sounds. If it was a man-made factor, then how do you explain that the sound was heard in different parts of the planet almost simultaneously? According to eyewitnesses, technical devices were not always near the place where the sound was heard. In the geophysical version, seismologists suggest that strange sounds were caused by fluctuations of the surface of the Earth and the movement of tectonic plates. At the same time, it can be a harbinger of natural disasters. According to another version, the mysterious humble can be connected to the change of magnetic poles, which is now taking place on our planet. There is an apocalyptic version, according to which the strange sounds are compared to the last trumpet, which in the ancient scriptures referred to as a harbinger of planet planetary change. In the New Testament, the trumpet is mentioned in the eighth chapter of the Revelation of St. John the Divine. Also, the trumpet is mentioned in Paul's letter to the Corinthians. In the life of Sula Plutarch, there is such an episode. It reads, But what was chief of all? From the cloudless and clear sky, there came a sound of a trumpet, so shrill and mournful that by reason of the greatest thereof of men were beside themselves and crouched for fear. The two seers interpreted this to portend the commencement of a new period and a great general change. A large number of hypotheses baffle people who seek to find the only true explanation for this phenomenon. 
Perhaps strange sounds is indeed a multifactorial phenomenon which is connected one way or the other with each of these versions. For now, the only thing which is known is that this phenomenon needs to be studied. What is behind these phenomena and what in fact are they? Random failures in the debugged mechanism of nature or are they harbingers of global climate change on the planet? On July 20, in Siberia, the inhabitants of five districts of the far north of Yakutia observed the anomalous disappearance of the sun for some time. It is important to note that in this area, in this time of year, the polar day lasts around the clock. According to eyewitnesses of the Ivana Butantai district, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., there was an impenetrable darkness. For a free movement on the street, inhabitants used flashlights and turned down the lights in their houses. Also, they complained of a feeling of internal discomfort. Having a in the chest, shortness of breath. After the sun came out again, people found a very thick layer of dust that covered everything around and a layer of black dirt formed on the surface of the lakes. The inhabitants of Arkhans district, a Gina settlement, noticed that since early morning the sky had become covered either with clouds or with smoke. It's worth noting that in this region it began to be getting dark from 2 p.m. The absence of wind, sun, and light was alarming. The time seemed to slow down and there was nothing to breathe. Around 5 p.m it began to be getting light abruptly. In the next 15 to 20 minutes, it became completely light, but the sun was not seen yet. In four days after the abnormal natural phenomenon, the inhabitants of three regions found a lot of dead birds. As a result of laboratory tests showed, the level of radiation in water and topsoil was within the normal range. There were was several versions of the nature of this anomaly. The first one is a solar eclipse, but it's known this phenomenon is predicted in advance and is published in the sources of information with indication of exact dates and time. Also, an eclipse never takes such a long time as in this case. The Ministry of Ecology claims that the eclipse was caused by fires. However, the fact that districts are located far from the areas of wildfire, there was no wind that day and there was no smell of burning. It may be one of the usual evenings, playing with your beloved pet, and you may suddenly discover that someone invisible is present beside you. This is exactly what happened to the author of this video. This footage seems to show the flying semi-transparent objects, also called plasmoids, energy balls or orbs. Who are they? And what are they doing near us? If they are living beings, then what do they live off of? What do they eat? Are they dangerous to people? After watching the program, The Invisible World, people from all over the world began to send their recordings to the Elatra TV email in which the creatures invisible to the human eye were depicted. Among them, the images with plasmoids and skyfish are represented. For more details about the nature of these creatures, see soon in the program Within the Limits of Reality on Elatra TV.
Также мы также пытались интервьюировать человека, который часто манифестировал манифестации невидимого мира в ее жизни. Специальный репорт для АЛЛАТРА ТВ. Мы в Эквадоре. Сесилия Чавере сидит в фронт меня и хочет поделиться с нами историей о видео от ее друга с камерой. Вы помните, что это было в этом году? Было это в 2016? Да. Что ты увидел на этом видео? Это было видео из офиса. В время эрквейка огромное количество плазмоидов начало появляться. Это были какие-то пыльки. Это были какие-то пыльки. Сотни из них приходили с неба. Было очень много из них. Семитранспарентные. И все в том же цвете. During the earthquake, they were moving in different directions. As soon as the earthquake ended, they calmed down and began to return back to the sky where they came from. So what do you think about all of this? What kind of balls were these? At first I thought it could be dust. Well, that is not dust because dust particles are much smaller, while those were big, like walls. And it looked like they have a life of their own, because they chose their direction themselves. The dust, on the contrary, just goes up, and it consists of tiny particles. That was something quite large. Perhaps it was the energy which had condensed in the sky, And at the time of the earthquake, it began to come out. In addition, during the earthquake, people experienced great fear. They were extremely frightened and saw they came out. You have also encountered other extraordinary things in your life, in photos, for example? Yes, I have seen different things since my childhood. For instance, I saw them when my friend's husband died. About half a year later, when relatives gathered together and began to take pictures with their daughters, some of the photos captured that one of these energy balls appeared in front of the widow. It was quite large in size. There were numbers inside the ball. It looked like a Mayan clock, with some kind of a face in the center and many small details around it. Do you still have this photo? No, my friend has it, but she didn't want us to show the photo. There was another instance when we went to the field to meditate And there were a lot of balls, these energy granules. Here is another photo. We somehow went to look at the magnetic stones. In Ecuador, we have a place where a lot of UFOs have been seen. And people believe, anyway, these stones are from there. And they're magnetic. And so we looked at them, and my husband took one of the stones. Along the stone in the middle, there was a purple line. And later on, when we were having a cup of coffee in the dining room, we took a photo. This energy ball was on it, with the very same purple line in the middle. The given materials prove that there is another world around us, the invisible, inhabited by many living beings. This was known in ancient times. For our ancestors, it was an everyday reality. The question arises, why nowadays is this topic ignored? If everyone faces these creatures in everyday life, Today, due to the information presented in the program, The Invisible World, it became known that the plasmoids and skyfish feed on the vital force of a person. 
his attention. We are not alone here, and I repeat Bereke's words, that this invisible world is similar to a sea. There are many life forms in it, plenty of life forms indeed. People must get to know and learn that invisible world that surrounds us. Then it's easier to understand where our thoughts are coming from and why such nice people sometimes have such aggressive thoughts. Our emotions, our preferences, they also are formed. Are formed, yes. They form, among other things, a certain emotional field. Without fail, for sure. Which strongly influences that very earth. And this does work. This really influences the environment and the earth. Well, if you please, there's an example of poorly visible animals, so to say, flying ones, such as plasmoids. Well, Again, what attracts those plasmoids, those same emotions? For sure, of course. As I understand, they feed on them emotions. Hence, people should think when they exhibit anger, argue, hate somebody. Who benefits from this? When they envy. Who benefits from this? The one whom they feed. Yes, and what they're airing. Yes. Is this worth getting, say, domestic cats when they gather those plasmoids around themselves? I think this is so. A cat is visible, it may be stroked, it may be driven out. Whereas the invisible part, it is certainly more harmful for a human being. When a man doesn't control his negative thoughts, emotions, then invisible creatures make use of it. And that precious attention that he could have put into the involvement of his spiritual life becomes food for inferior creatures. Is it reasonable to keep ignoring the fact of their existence? It's natural for a person to look after one's health and to keep his body clean. But in a modern society, it is much less accepted to take care of the purity of thoughts, the control of emotions, and the development of the feeling of love inside. In other words, to take care of the quality of the spiritual life in general. But attention is the real power, and only a person chooses either live by something negative and feed the invisible parasites, or multiply the love and joy within oneself. In the next episode, there will be information not only about beings from the invisible world, but also about those who were able to get rid of their aggressive influence. If you faced such manifestations and you have something to say, send your stories to the email that you see on the screen.